Amazon, the once unstoppable e-commerce giant, is actually teetering on the brink of financial collapse. Despite its dominance in the online shopping space, the company is now hemorrhaging billions of dollars in almost every division. A stunning turn of events that no one saw coming. In fact, the former trillion-dollar company is so desperate to cut costs that it's rushing to close its physical retail stores and about to lay off over 100,000 employees. But even that might not be enough to save it from the looming recession that's hitting the U.S. Stay tuned as we embark on a gripping journey through nine bone-chilling facts that expose the terrifying truth behind Amazon's dire financial situation and the ominous fate awaiting its retail empire. Number 9. Amazon is in the red The company is currently facing significant financial difficulties that are causing alarm among investors. The company's struggle to generate profits has resulted in a substantial loss of nearly $3 billion in market value last year, making its first unprofitable year since 2014. As a result, its shares have taken a severe hit, plummeting nearly 35% from August 2022 to the end of Q1 2023. To make matters worse, its flagship revenue stream, cloud computing, is experiencing a worrying slowdown in growth. These challenges are painting a concerning picture for Amazon's financial stability and, consequently, for its retail business. Number 8. Massive Layoffs The e-commerce behemoth is currently undergoing its largest ever wave of job cuts, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. The numbers are staggering. In January, a brutal 18,000 jobs were eliminated, and now an additional 9,000 employees are in the process of being laid off since the beginning of this month. That's a massive 27,000 job losses in just the first half of the year. This is a distressing indication of economic uncertainty within the company, and it's taking a heavy toll on Amazon's workforce, which has already endured over 100,000 job cuts since 2021. Number 7. Losing to the Competition Amazon is finding itself in a fierce battle with its competitors who are now surpassing the company in areas where Amazon once led the way. One striking example is Walmart, which achieved an impressive feat of 6,000 drone deliveries in 2022, while Amazon only entered this space in late December. Shockingly, Walmart is beating Amazon at its own game. While Amazon has done little to push the boundaries of innovation in its services, Walmart has introduced innovative features like text-to-shop and visual search, enhanced their mobile shopping experience, and implemented advanced automation in their fulfillment centers. Moreover, in the realm of grocery, Amazon's market share is discouragingly low, standing at a mere 1.2% while their primary competitor, Walmart, dominates with over 25% of the market. As retail consultant Britton Ladd has pointed out, Amazon seems completely lost when it comes to establishing a successful grocery chain. And it's truly disappointing that despite its vast resources, Amazon lacks a clear strategy for physical grocery stores. Number 6. Whole Foods is Teetering on the Brink of Failure Amazon's foray into the grocery industry is facing a significant setback as most of their pop-up stores within Whole Foods and Kohl's are shutting down. Despite the colossal $13.7 billion acquisition of Whole Foods, the venture is now teetering on the brink of failure. Amazon's strategy of altering the way consumers purchase products in an attempt to boost profits has fallen short. Compounded by higher prices and lackluster customer service, Whole Foods struggles to compete with more affordable options like Aldi, where organic food can be found at a lower cost. Meanwhile, stores like Trader Joe's and Target have successfully carved out their niches with unique and desirable offerings, leaving Whole Foods behind. Amazon underestimated the challenges of the grocery store industry. Its lack of distinctive products or branding that entices customers to choose their stores over competitors is evident. Even its online store falls short, as people crave the tactile experience of seeing and touching the food they purchase. As a result, Amazon's currently in the process of closing six Whole Foods locations across four states, and analysts warn that unless Amazon can revolutionize its approach, it may lose all their stores within the next five years. The future of Amazon's presence in the grocery market hangs in the balance, urging the company to rethink its strategies or face a swift demise. Number 5. Amazon's Bookstore Business is Officially Over The company which initially revolutionized online book sales made a surprising decision to close down all of its physical bookstores across the United States in the past year. 
However, the most shocking news came in the past month when Amazon announced that as of April 26, it was shutting down its global online bookseller, The Book Depository, which had been in operation for almost two decades. In a statement, CEO Andy Jassy explained that due to the uncertain economic climate and future uncertainties, the company has opted for a more streamlined approach to cut costs and reduce headcount. Number 4. Four-star stores are going burst too. It's not just the bookstores that are facing closure. Amazon's four-star stores, which aim to offer a blend of their online and in-store experience, have also proven to be a significant financial loss for the company. These stores are stocked with well-reviewed toys and household products, organized with the efficiency of Amazon's warehouse algorithms. However, since 2019, the sales growth of the four-star stores has been lackluster compared to the company's online business, resulting in the closure of many of these stores already. Number 3. Amazon Go is a total mess Amazon Go's standout feature is the ability to grab a product and walk out of the store without waiting in line. However, critics argue that Amazon made a crucial error by prioritizing the technology within the stores rather than focusing on the overall retail experience. Retail expert Neil Saunders has expressed his views on Amazon Go, stating that these stores are solving a problem that doesn't actually exist. In other words, customers are not inclined to shop at a store solely because they can bypass queues or experience fancy car scanning technology. They need more than just these features to be enticed. Unfortunately, it seems like Amazon is clueless about what truly entices customers. This lack of understanding was evident when Amazon recently announced the closure of several high-tech cashierless convenience stores as part of their scaling back on brick-and-mortar operations. Number 2. Amazon Fresh is over Amazon Fresh stores, the once promising venture, are on the brink of extinction. The company's grand plans for these physical grocery stores have crumbled in the face of a staggering decline in consumer demand. In a candid confession, CEO Andy Jassy acknowledges that Amazon failed to crack the code for a winning formula with Amazon Fresh stores. We're still searching for the right format that truly connects with customers, he admits. It's a harsh reality, but Amazon, known for its meticulous optimization strategies, is reevaluating its store portfolio and making tough decisions to adapt to the ever changing market landscape. So brace yourself for the imminent closure of several Amazon Fresh stores in the upcoming months. Number 1. Warehouses are also feeling the heat. Industry insiders reveal that Amazon is not only ruthlessly canceling and shuttering existing warehouses, but also delaying plans to build new ones. Reports from consulting firm MWPVL International Incorporated indicate a staggering 71 warehouse closures already this year, with the possibility of 42 more closures or cancellations looming on the horizon. In an effort to alleviate the impact, Amazon is seeking to sublease around 10 million square feet of idle space out of a total of 25 million square feet in facilities located across New York, New Jersey, California, and Georgia. As Amazon becomes the world's first public company to lose $1 trillion in market value, it becomes painfully clear that the once unstoppable e-commerce giant is on the verge of financial collapse. The company is now struggling to generate profits and undertaking massive layoffs and store closures. It's a difficult reality to accept, but the fate of Amazon is uncertain, and only time will tell whether it can withstand the looming recession that's hitting the U.S.